Hi there, we're super excited to welcome you back to the 2018-19 school year and we hope that it's off to a great start for you and your students. We know you've been busy with all of the new resources. Yes, you've got new curriculum resources, you've got new mirror pod licenses, you even, some of you, have new Chromebooks. So we've added new team members to help better meet your needs. So without further ado, let's introduce them to you. First up, we have Mr. Damian Gordon, who'll be supporting middle schools. Next, we have Ms. Felicia Gaff, who will be supporting Destination Google and Google Certification. Next up is Ms. Megan Harris, who will be supporting the many intervention programs in the district. And last but not least, Ms. Bonnie Gillette, who will be supporting elementary cohorts. Hmm. Our team has really grown a lot recently. But this isn't even our whole team. I don't know how much longer I can hold this position. I'm starting to get a cramp. Um, but Now that you have met our new team members, we felt we should give you a little bit of a preview of what they have to offer. Hi, I'll be providing support for READ 180 in Systems 44. If you need any assistance, please don't hesitate to contact me or fill out our request assistance form. Coming soon, I'll be providing a Canvas course to further support your needs. Hi, my name is Felicia Gath. I will manage our 2018-2019 Destination Google campaign. This campaign will promote getting all employees Google certified. This school year, we will host several boot camps. Those dates are September 20th and 21st, October 4th and 5th, and December 14th, 17th and 18th, which will support you in getting your level one certification. Be sure to register on Go Sign Me Up for one of our upcoming boot camp sessions. So now that you've had a chance to meet our new team members, we want to remind you that there is an About the Team page on the Instructional Technology website with each team member and their focus. So if you're unsure of who you need to contact for the support you need, visit the website. Since it's the beginning of the school year, we thought that connecting your parents and guardians to your classroom might be on your mind, and we wanted to bring you some tools that makes it easy to do just that. Technology offers us a variety of helpful platforms to make parent connections seamless and easy. For example, why not start with a tool that you're already familiar with, like Google Classroom? Using the Invite Guardians button under the People tab will enable Google Classroom to email parents for you each and every Friday to summarize students' work, upcoming assignments, and missing assignments. And don't forget about some of our other Google products as well. For example, you can create a teacher website using Google Sites to communicate with your parents and guardians, or you could use an application like Google Groups to create a Q&A form for your parents, or even an email list for your parents and guardians. And if you really want to get creative, think about using Google Hangouts for your career day visitors or even to have online parent-teacher conferences. There are also many other applications outside of G Suite that do an excellent job of connecting guardians to the classroom. For example, Remind 101 provides teachers with a free, safe, and simple way to instantly text students and parents. Teachers can send schedule reminders, assignments, homework, assessments, even motivational messages. And don't forget, Remind 101 translates for our ESL and ELL families. Some other great options include platforms like Seesaw and Class Dojo. These are comprehensive solutions to connecting the home to the classroom. They can feature things like a class blog, as well as a student news feed, a student digital portfolio, and even connect parents to their student behavior within the classroom. So don't overlook these either. Okay, so what about events like Open House? Are there tech tools to engage parents at Open House? Of course, some of the tools that you're using in your classroom on a daily basis can actually be really fun interactive activities for your parents when they visit your classroom. For example, using a class discussion board like Padlet gives parents an opportunity to leave a message for their student or anonymously leave a message for all your students. Uh, in addition, you can use a tool like Google Forms to create a parent survey. You would be surprised if you just ask them, 
How can I be a better teacher to your student? The kinds of information that's game changing for our students that they will reveal. Like some of our students' personality quirks, their strengths, their weaknesses, and what motivates them. So there you have it, free tech tools that you can use to engage parents. And don't forget, our team actually has a lot of support and resources to offer you all the time. For example, if you need support from one of our team members, simply visit our website at ebrschoolsedtech.org and fill out our support request form and we will send a team member to support you. And if you ever have any questions, visit our EdTech question and answer forum where there are already questions and answers posted there for you or you can post your own. And don't be surprised if you see our team members at your site. We are there to offer you the support you need. And don't forget, if you heard about a tool in our presentation today, or if you're just looking for a new tool, visit our website and visit our favorite tools slide deck for tons of new ideas, tutorials, and more. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's an ever-growing resource for webinars, tutorials, and more. And you may be chosen as one of our monthly winners. And last but not least, follow us on Twitter at EdTechEBR. Well, I think that's it, guys. So until next time, keep tech jamming!